Hey, I'm Allison with Flick Direct, and I am here with the one and only Sonic the Hedgehog. No, not really. I'm here with Ben Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> Allison, I love the delivery. <laughs> thank you. Thank I love you. the not really. I'm here with Sonic the Hedgehog, not really. Ben Schwartz. <laughs> I loved it. Hi, Ben. How, How are, are you, Allison? Thank you very much for being here. Oh, thank you for being oh, here. Oh, I have to be here. <laughs> anyway, good thing you're going to answer my questions. I can't right? wait. Excellent. All right, so let's get started. So many people have no Sonic the Hedgehog, mm -hmm. grew up with Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm -hmm. How do you make it your own while, you, while still staying true? It's a great question. To uh, because the character. there's been quite a few people who played this character in the yes. past. We have Roger Craig, we have Jaleel, we have Ryan, we have Jason, and a slew of other people. So uh, what I did is I kind of I played the video games again that I grew up with mm -hmm. in 1991 and 92, which is Sonic and Sonic One, okay. and then I, I got the feel of like the energy and the attitude they brought. I even read this book called Console Wars, which talks about the birth of what Sonic is. And then I read the script, and when I read the script by these two fantastic writers, I was like, you know what it is? Sonic is really like an energetic kid. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if I play him like this energetic kid that's never been allowed out in the real world to do all these things, I feel like then maybe people will connect with the emotion a bit more, so everything will play a little bit harder. Absolutely, you did a great job doing Thanks, that. Thanks, I appreciate it. It felt like you kind of really sugared up, you know? Oh, like I excited? <laughs> oh yeah, I drank some green tea before a lot of the things. I just kept going. But what was interesting about the film is that there's so many emotions. It's not just the excitement. Yeah. There's that sense of loneliness that we see from him. So how do you think the audience is going to react to that other side well, of Well, I think the thing that you bring up, which is great, is I really wanted, just as important as me improvising a lot of jokes and trying to make it as funny as I can, I really wanted all the emotional stuff to play. Because I really wanted people to connect with this character and feel what this character is feeling. Because mm -hmm. I think it just pays off the whole thing. So that was... That was uh, the biggest thing in terms of the breadth of like all these different emotions, you're always, of course going to see Sonic be that Sonic, yeah. but to make him a well-rounded character, give him some depth, make him lonely at times, make him feel like he doesn't know what he's going to do. He's a, he's a kid and kids are curious and don't have it all figured out and all that stuff. So that was a big aspect of all of that. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I thought it really, I think it'll draw audiences in more, and I think they yeah. will relate more to it. That was certainly. my hope. That's great yeah, that you think that is great. Tell me logistically how this worked. Were you on set at all with your lines, or were you just in a studio and they just went without yeah. you? Yeah, so we did a table read, and then okay. uh, after that, I recorded my voice doing the whole script twice, so the director had it as a reference anytime I want. But when they filmed, it was James and Tika and Jim Carrey out uh. there for the whole thing. <laughs> I didn't do anything. And then when they come back, it's just me by myself for 20 days oh. doing all these different records and oh, stuff geez. like that. So, but I'm doing it opposite their video. And I'm, the good thing is I kind of see what they're going to use so I can improvise any way I want. So we do the okay. script, which is fantastic. And then we kind of play a little bit and whatever's funniest kind of makes, makes the screen. So you never really wanted to sneak on set? Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> Jim Carrey was there. I know. It's my hero growing oh. up. I of course <laughs> wanted to sneak on set. I met him once during filming. And it was like, I was, I was like, oh, it's so nice to meet you. And then I asked him about Ace Ventura for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and he was lovely and connects with you. And oh, like, there's no, he doesn't puts down his phone. He looks you in the eyes. And it's, you know, he's a megastar. And he yeah. still finds time to really have moments with people, which I think is lovely. So very quickly, last question. If you had sonic speed, where would you go and why? I would go on vacation. And then I would go <laughs> everywhere. I would go everywhere and relax everywhere. <laughs> and I would not go, would be able to avoid planes and just run on the water and do all these fun things. It would be heaven. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Allison, really love to chat with you. Oh, thanks. With you Good. <laughs>